Oh, I just want to triple her up. Well, she would have won. She'd have won it in the nine, wouldn't she? No, I had the ACS the ace flopped. I would have won it. Oh, did it? Yeah. So a uh, well, very Andy. good the spirit Tony. between these two. They know they'll be playing again in the quarters. Looking at the head-to-head, -head, though, Tony Cascarino, I'll tell you, I don't think he's ever had less than 80,000 in chips and never more than 120. He's uh, he's kept his head all night long. Well, that's what we were expecting to do, Jesse. We did say at the start of the show that Cascarino uh, was, was, was very solid, and it, it's a tremendous that you foot, the foot, have a team with a footballer that strong. I'll tell you, there's some scary sights in poker, but Andy Black with chips... Uh, Definitely up there. Check. And I believe they'll be an all in here. All in. All in. <laughs> I believe all. there'll be a call here as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cascarino has gotten the first part of the equation correct. <laughs> you know, the competitive spirit never dies, does it, Mark? <laughs> Tell these guys to play three matchsticks. Cascarino <laughs> is rooting for an ace. You better believe he is. I'll just see a picture. Ace high. <laughs> Plenty good right now, unless a queen or jack comes. This will be a continuation here. Don't leave it to the last card. Thank you. <laughs> 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 if, if you want to know how I to finish fifth to in the world, try speaking out that nicely to the right dealer. On fifth straight. Yeah, that'd be sick, you know. When things are going <laughs> your way, <laughs> it's all there to play. <laughs> well, that was this one <laughs> over Andy <laughs> Black. <laughs> the captain has taken Ireland through to the quarterfinals. Tony Cascarino. Nothing to feel bad about here, Park. He's done his part Thanks. and more. Yeah, he did exactly what he was supposed to do. He, he played like a, like a true team man. Cheers. Hung in and was, uh, was there as a backup to his captain in the end. That last pot just one of those things. Ace five, a slight favorite, but not when the jack came down and two pairs beat two sixes. That's the end of this story, Glory. Two important components of the winning team, Tony and Andy Black. Now, Andy, congratulations about winning this thing, but really taking out Alexander Kuzmin, that was, uh, that was tough, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, he was running all over the tournament early on, um, and uh, he built up a huge chip lead. Um, and when he raised with the key hand, I think, of the tournament was when I raised 12,000, and he made it about 50 or 60,000. I don't know, and I, it's not as if I had any physical tell on him. I just kind of felt I was stronger than him, you know. So it's, I can't put it into words, and uh, the, the rest is history. It was a big momentum switch. Now, Tony, you pretty much hung in there the whole time, never too high, never too low. Did you just want to give yourself a chance? Yeah, I didn't see too many hands, and uh, it was difficult because there was a lot of raising going on, and um, I just tried to hang in for the team and think, well, I might pick an hand up later on, and. And uh, just sort of, as players were eliminated, I'm still there, but not really good chip count. Uh, but I think Andy was the best, by far the best player tonight. I'm not just saying it because he's here, but he made a couple of big calls. The one with a pair of deuces. <laughs> it was I, I, I nearly <laughs> fell off the chair when he turned them over. <laughs> well, the winner of France-Denmark up for you guys next. Do you have a preference? La France, viva la France. Yeah, well, I feel I feel we've got some unfinished business with France, you know. I mean, I'm sure Tony yeah. would say, you know. In football terms, we say. In football <laughs> terms. So looking at it from that point of view, you know, I think yeah. we, we'd like France, yeah. But also, you know, I mean, historically, yeah, we have links with Denmark, you know. I mean, I think I'm actually, uh, you know, related to Vikings, sort of, ancestrally. <laughs> so that wouldn't be bad either, you know. Well, we'll see how the draw is affected now. Quarterfinals all set in the top half. Four strong teams there. Sweden one to watch out for, for sure. And in the bottom half now, Republic of Ireland, first team through. They'll play the winner of France and Denmark. The great Gus Hansen up at some point. And geez, those bottom four teams, who will it be? They're all powerhouses with Sexton, Negrano, and G. Well, that France-Denmark battle is up for you next week. Should be a titanic wager.
Well, that's that. Great play from you guys and the I entire should. Republic of Ireland team. I mean, everyone has to be looking now at the Republic of Ireland as one of the strongest teams remaining in this tournament. Well, it's a long, long, long way to go yet, so I think there's a lot of strong teams there. So really, it's going to be a game of uh, more than two halves. Great stuff. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time here on the PartyPoker.com Football and Poker Legends Cup. No one to play with? There's always PartyPoker.com where the world plays poker.